Good morning. It's Thursday, August 27th, 2020. I'm Russell, and this is Rocky Road Devotions, a few minutes of help for today's journey. Our devotion today is entitled, Partnering with the Devil, and our scripture is 2 John. The beloved apostle writes, Love means doing what God has commanded us, and he has commanded us to love one another, just as you heard from the beginning. I say this because many deceivers have gone out into the world. They deny that Jesus Christ came in a real body. Such a person is a deceiver and an antichrist. Watch out that you do not lose what we have worked so hard to achieve. Be diligent so that you receive your full reward. Anyone who wanders away from this teaching has no relationship with God, but anyone who remains in the teaching of Christ has a relationship with both the Father and the Son. If anyone comes to your meeting and does not teach the truth about Christ, don't invite that person into your home or give any kind of encouragement. Anyone who encourages such people becomes a partner in their evil work. Some choices promise better than others, but there's a new choice every second of every lifetime. To remain or go, continue breathing or not, to smile or growl, to resist life's tragedies or embrace the challenges, to love or partner with the devil. I recall reading the account of a young man's life who, due to a skiing accident that crushed most of his body's bones, left him facing the reality of climbing uphill for what was left of his days on this planet. Those days were filled with pain, chronic, agonizing, and at times overwhelming pain. Among the choices he entertained during that dark time was the possibility of ending it all. The pain, any hope of recovery, a miracle, or just the satisfaction of holding on. I can't recall the man's name or where I read the story, but his words still ring deep in my soul. This is what he said. I do not have choice about the pain and circumstances of my life, but when it comes to joy, I can choose misery or I can choose joy. His testimony was that choosing joy over misery gave him a purpose, and part of that purpose was to help others embrace whatever challenge life throws their way. Apostle John, the same one whose gospel account says that Jesus loved him, warned the church that there were merely two choices available in life, love God or partner with the devil, the latter being a life built on deception, the chief of which was that Jesus had not really come in a flesh and blood body to die a horrible death for our sins. That was beneath God's dignity and no self-respecting God would do such a thing. In short, those living in this deception denied Christ. The opposite side of deception is truth, and to live in truth is to accept what is real. Christ's sacrificial death and resurrection means everything else he told us is true. And past that point of accepting Christ, we live as he told us to live, acting with love toward every other human being, and doing that no matter if it's reciprocated. That is the way God loves, and our mission is to live like our God demonstrated. For you today, when facing particularly challenging circumstances, remember the choice between misery and joy. Partnering with the devil's deception looks like a much easier way out, and it is. It's your gateway to a life of misery without parole. The other choice will always seem more difficult, requiring faith, yielding control to Christ's plan for your life. But in doing so, you will discover the pathway to genuine joy. You chew on that as you hit the rocky road today. Have a blessed day.